Well, for most, the holiday is time spent with family and loved ones, but for some, that's not always the case. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido has more on the story. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, about 28% of people 65 and older will spend Christmas alone. I spoke with one elderly couple in Bakersfield who says they have the recipe to combating loneliness in the holidays. And beyond any, any thought whatsoever, I don't think either one of us ever think we would be here. About 530,000 people over the age of 65 will spend Christmas alone. To them, it will be just another day, striking loneliness in their lives. Joanne and Ernie have been married for 64 years, and this will be their first Christmas at the Columbus Estates Retirement Home. And that's a whole new world out there and we don't belong to it anymore. <laughs> Although the couple is spending their Christmas with family, they say for many in their state, that is not the case. According to the U.S. Department of Health, job relocation is the top reason that the youth separate from their elderly family members. You know, when you're growing up, you don't, you can't plan your life. The couple says they are grateful to be spending their Christmas with family and have one message for anyone in a different position. Do the best you can with what you have, with where you are. This Christmas, they hope family members will reach out to the elderly community in their lives because for these two, it's their support system that has made all the difference. Thank you would not be adequate. According to Age UK, an organization aimed at combating loneliness in the elderly community, something as simple as a phone call or lunch can go a long way this holiday season.